again do the general speech. I think maybe these are appropriate at certain certain spots. あまたの失敗を繰り返してきた。最大の失敗は我らと互角に戦えると思っていることじゃ。何様の通じゃ。薄汚い百姓の集まりが。どうやら兵力は互角のようじゃ。苦戦するや面白いの。兵の数よりも
Now I'm going to run them back. I'm actually going to put my matchlock out front here. And put them on um, fire by rank. And then I'll put them on skir um, skirmish. So that hopefully they'll run out of the way. Get off me, Cav. It's time for you to route anyway. Let's see what's going on over here with the... Um, looks like we're taking out these archers quite well. There's some katana samurai there that are going to be attacking my, my Yari samurai. So, oh, Ashigaru. I'm going to want to support them with my light cavalry here and get into the rear of these katana samurai. Because they'll actually mess up my, uh, my Yari samurai. Oh, crap. I got a whole bunch more enemy troops charging on the hill. You can see my matchlock routed a whole bunch of their troops up front. Their general came over here and attacked my, my katana samurai, so I'm going to take quite a few losses there. But um, that shouldn't be the end of the world, really. What I'm really worried about is this light cavalry situation over here and my Yari samurai getting their butts kicked. This katana samurai is kind of locked onto me here. My other Yari Samurai is getting its butt kicked too. I'm probably going to end up losing both of them. There's not a whole lot I can do about it just because I don't have... This cavalry is just going to get wasted. I'm going to move these um, Matchlock Ashigaru over there. Crap, come on, just ignore them. <laughs> Go over here now. Yes. Enemy infantry, as in retreat. I wish you could put like a some kind of behavior on, like a retreat behavior or something, so that when you're being followed by um, by enemy infantry and you want your horses to just leave, that they would just do so, rather than continuously trying to line up and fight. I may shoot some of my own Ashigaru, but yeah, that's going to be my Yari Samurai. I pretty much lost them entirely, which definitely sucks. I'm going to take my general... I don't know if it's worth chasing these troops down. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, now I can take my light cab out behind these guys. Now that they're focused on my Yari Ashigaru. And hopefully we can finish the business here. Forgot to use my fire arrows. These guys are facing the wrong direction. Okay. Yeah, this battle got a little bit manic. I lost more men than I wanted to, but I did cause a pretty massive defeat um, to the enemy. So this should be pretty much the end of it right here. Nice massive hammer and anvil strike there should pretty pretty well just seal the deal. I also like the friendly fire changes that were made on Shogun too. Like you can see, of course these guys keep facing the wrong direction. But uh, even though you didn't get to see it there, your troops are actually smarter about the friendly fire. Let's go ahead and end this battle, and I'll see you back on the campaign map. So, uh, most unfortunately, I lost my two Yari Samurai. I'll have to start training some troops to take their place. The rest of my troops are intact, thank goodness. And the enemy army took quite a pulverizing there. So um, that turned out okay. And we should be in a position to capture their castle. Let's go to recruitment. Um... Instead of recruiting the Yari Samurai, I'm just going to recruit... Well, yeah, I am going to recruit the Yari Samurai because they will get to me faster as far as reinforcements are concerned. I'm going to move on these guys while they're weak. Um, you can see they have another army here, so if I capture their castle, that'll allow my men to retrain during the end of this turn. And then um, may may also give me a vassal here if I'm lucky, which would be nice. Okay, there we go. My general ranked up too, which is good. And good, we're going to make these guys a vassal. Uh, I pretty much just want all the vassals I can get, because they will be attacked um, before uh, before I will. Now, I was thinking about our, cl our clan management here. I need to find and see if Tokugawa uh, Yasu has come of age yet. He hasn't. The Daimyo's young son. He's age 13. I'd kind of like for him to come of age before I actually go take... Um, Kyoto, because, you know, historically that was kind of how it all happened. So I would really prefer for that to happen. Okay, so good. We have North Shinano, these guys. Um, let's open trade with them. 
Again, this is going to be another way for us to get money, and if they get killed, at least it just gives me time to prepare for the incoming attack, so that's another reason why you want to do uh, the deal with these vassals. Um, again, after the um, after the Realm Divide is the best time to do the vassals, as you can see the trouble that the Eco Iki got me into. Uh, but oh well, maybe it makes the campaign more interesting for you to watch. You can see my income is, is very much up. That's a good thing. Uh, definitely what I need. Remember, I'm training some reinforcing troops back here. But I may want to go ahead and train some more troops here as well, since I have the money. And uh, the bow troops are definitely handy. I, I seem to have enough of them, so I'm going to train just a little bit more Ashigaru. Um, that way, if they attack me, you know, I'll have some, some men to defend the walls with. It looks like my shores are safe for now. I can't believe I'm not getting attacked by more navies. Knock on wood. Don't really want that to happen, though. All right, Setsu um, is under my control. So uh, I know they're going to be unhappy if I leave, though. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and click them off the the taxes for a minute. And I'll take a look at all my settlements to make sure I'm taxing everywhere I should be. And I'll just train a couple of troops to, to keep the peace there. I really want to take this castle here. Wow. These guys have some, some quality troops, or at least some, not like all. They got a couple of bow samurai, some katana cav. Um, yeah, they got some good troops. So I'm definitely just going to continue the siege here. It would be stupid of me to attack a fortress this large. So I'm going to siege them out, make them come out and attack me, and then I should be able to defeat them. And then taking this castle should help my income as well as create, like I said, a nice defensive choke point. And I might want to end up doing the same right here. And then maybe eventually right here as well. And that'll completely block off the enemies unless they drop a navy. And then, like I said, my vassals are making a nice buffer zone for me back here. So, let's see. Which is the next closest castle at this point? I'm thinking I'm going to come attack uh, Kozuke here. Because maybe this is where this clan hails from. Their homelands or whatever. I wonder if you can see that in the diplomacy screen. Because if I can... doesn't really say what their home province is. If I can take them out and turn them into a vassal, that would be very much preferable. Of course, I think you have to do it with their very last settlement, so that may not work. It may work, I don't know. I just know if I retake... If I retake Kai, I can turn in it, it into a vassal of the Takeda. So I might want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that so I can turn it into a vassal first. Is this my agent? Sure enough, I have a Metsuke. Let's go up here and see if we can um, cause some crap for these uh, these enemy troops. I need to be using this, and I think this is a decent Metsuke here. Okay, I can't bribe that army right now, but maybe I'll try it on the next turn. Okay, I think I've done what I need to on this turn, so let's go ahead and end the turn. We've still got plenty of time, like I said, to finish the campaign. Um, there's just a couple of regions that I need to control for victory. I think Kyoto is one of the last ones, and I just took um, one of the Shinano regions, so I think that takes care of that. Um, so I should be in pretty good shape overall. I wish I could convince the Asai to like start attacking the... Um... Oh, we got a Matsuke going after my agent there? He better not succeed. And if he didn't, then I'm going to go straight back at him. Iko Iki are getting beat up. The Asai are wasting all their troops up there, which I wish they'd kind of just build an army. Okay, I am being besieged by these guys. They have some pretty darn decent troops. All these bow samurai are, are pretty good. I mean, they're gonna. I mean, they've got chevrons and everything, so I say pretty good. These guys are bloody tough. I have a lot of bow troops as well, though, and I'm gonna be garrisoned. And I'm defending the walls, so hopefully um, I should be able to win this. Um, we'll see. So I'll see you on the battle map. All right, these Satomi are making their run with their troops here, but I've got my bows into position, and these guys are probably going to rout before they uh, make it over the wall. I say that. I don't know. They're there now. But I'm still firing at them, so... And then as they're crawling up the wall, now they're wavering. These guys should rout without causing me too much damage. There they go. All right, so they're out of the ball. Uh, they're out of the picture. Uh, I have this entire wall garrisoned with my archers because that's where the um, that's where the uh, reinforcing troops are coming from. I don't even remember what clan this is out here. Yeah, I totally don't remember what clan that is. I didn't even look. I've saved all my fire arrows for when they come up as well. It looks like the enemy katana samurai are just getting uh, chewed up there. 
I've got this tower here for extra bow fire. Uh, I'm going to take my infantry back to this side of the castle, away from where the enemy bow samurai will be able to fire. And then I'm going to put these two units on um, loose formation and, you know, for even more arrow effect up here. And then I'm going to run my bows away once the enemy starts to scale the wall with its infantry. Oh, check out this blob. That's great. I hope they just keep that up. I'm going to turn on my fire arrows as well because they're doing so. They may end up burning down some of my walls and gates. But uh, I've got my fire arrows on now, so we should be causing a pretty fair deal of damage back to them. stationed a little closer to the action here. Now they're just standing here duking it out with me in this big blob. That's kind of good. I mean, they're going to cause quite a bit of damage to my archers, but if they just stand here and duke it out with me, it's going to allow me to cause a maximum amount of damage back to them as well. And while they're all blobbed up like this, it just makes my archer fire that much more accurate. Hopefully they don't burn down my... Ah, shoot! My gate's on fire. Crap, 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 crap. Get out, get out. So I'm just going to put these guys on loose formation. I don't want them to get burned down in that gatehouse. I think they probably can be. So I tried to get them out of there. Yeah, all of their bow samurai are all bunched up right here, but still it doesn't necessarily mean this is going to be an easy fight for me. I'm trying to make sure, yeah. I don't want them to start shooting my infantry. I want them to use up like all their men and arrows trying to take down my bows. See, I have a lot of arrows firing back into them. That's good. It's too bad I don't have a general unit here. If I did, I could, like, inspire my bow units. But I should be causing pretty significant damage to all of these units here because they're all standing right here just getting peppered with all my arrows. So I'm hoping the AI's bad tactics here are going to be their undoing. These guys don't really have the best firing angle. So I think I'm actually going to move them over here to where I can begin firing with them as well. I want all the archer fire that I can get on these guys. 